It's Career and Technical Education Month here in North Bergen, New Jersey, and we're helping the Hudson County Schools of Technology celebrate this month, as well as honor Assemblyman Vincent Prieto. Students, teachers, parents, and principals join together for a roundtable discussion about the importance of vocational and technical education in honor of Career and Technical Education Month. Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto was joined by Andrew Campbell, the CEO of Eastern Millwork, and the Hudson County School of Technology Superintendent, Frank Gargiulo. The importance of today is that we get the opportunity, first of all, to thank the speaker. Uh, he, he had eight bills for directly uh, affected vocational schools. Uh, six of them got passed. Uh, the, uh, and two of them are pending. They will get passed, I think, eventually. That tremendously impact us. So we're celebrating that today. And this month happens to be Career and Technical Education Month. And and we usually uh, honor a business partner, which we did today, and cele in, in celebration of that month. Every school is doing something different. This is what we did to celebrate. Andrew Campbell received the Business Partner of the Year Award. And Honorable Speaker Vincent Prieto sat down with one of the students for an on-camera interview. Mr. Prieto is the uh, Speaker of the New Jersey General Assembly. Uh, Works in Trenton. Uh, you obviously think that career and technical education is important. Well, can you give us a little more specifics as to why? Well, for me, it was um, a natural fit. Uh, actually, I came from the building trades. Uh, actually, I'm a plumber by trade, a licensed plumber. I'm a construction code official, and getting to Trenton about 10, 10 years ago and, uh, and working, uh, I think education is very important. It's been one of my passions uh, as my children. Uh, one of them went into the technical fields and is in the uh, movie making business, and the other one is a teacher So in math. So I see the difference. and. Uh, there's different strokes for different folks, as they say, but we have here in the last few years, um, it's K-12, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on our children, and we've been giving them almost only for college, and not letting them know that there is other avenues out there. And uh, technical uh, and vocational education is one of those. And I think that we needed to do some change. So this last year, I've made some legislation and working together with the uh, key stakeholders, so we knew what, what we would need to be able to be able to run facilities like this and be able to make them, uh, you know, available to everybody. Because there's not enough room when you see a great facility like this. But I am blown back by all the great things you have here. So it was a natural fit for me just to be able to get out there and give some incentives, put some grants in place, and that way. Um, the students know that there's alternative ways of making money and potentially it could be a gap to college because college really is also very expensive. So trades, technical, um, manufacturing is not what it used to be. It's the 21st century, so you need a cer uh, certain skills for it. So we need to prepare our students and our future employees in the right Students talked with us about what they enjoyed most about the programs. The, the program is a hands-on program. Um, it's a plumbing program. I started in high school, very hands-on. Um, it's a nice opportunity. I would have never got this opportunity in any other any other school, so it's a good school to go to. Um, I love plumbing. I love hands-on working with my hands. So this is. This is something that I like. Hudson County TV spoke with Vincent Prieto about what he wants the students to take away from today's discussion. That the sky's the limit. That, you know, there there's no barriers and they can be whatever they want to be. And this is an awesome facility that gives them a lot of tools and resources to succeed in life. Right. And you use the word today, reinvent. You said that students can come to these schools and reinvent themselves. And that's such an empowering word. Mm -hmm. well, 
Can you elaborate a little well, bit on that? There, there is there because well, traditionally, uh, you know, in the last you know uh, few years or maybe the last decade, we have focused K through 12 on on getting our kids ready for for college. Schools like this show you that there is other pathways to success, and that would be uh, you know whether it's the building trades or there is the, the media field. You know, there the culinaries. There's so much out there that people can have great lives and enjoy what they do in the they're sort of artists in their own way. I'm Olivia York, reporting for Hudson County TV. We're committed to you.